serious. And silly. But seriously. Silly, but serious. But silly. With Scott and Sheila. Woo! <laughs> Very good. Well, <laughs> today we have a very special uh, guest on the show. She's a friend of ours, but also an amazing colleague. Um, she's Champlain's, uh, one of Champlain, <laughs> Champlain uh, psychologists, and her name is Juanita Jones. So Juanita, thank you for coming. And uh, would you take the opportunity now to just tell us a little bit about, about, about yourself and uh, what your role at Champlain is? Well, as you mentioned, and it says there, Juanita Jones with a W, mm -hmm. not a J-U-A, that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, I am a psychologist here, yes, in student services in the counseling department. So I have the privilege of helping students one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and I'm also a leader of the, uh, sorry, a coordinator of the leadership team, which is called FLIP. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So um, we're going to be diving into some serious questions with Juanita uh, relating to some counseling services um, here at Champlain. But first, Scott O'Brien. Well, thank you, Sheila. And uh, as people know, Juan um, is an amazing psychologist, but she also has a very silly, fun side to her. So we are going to delve into that right now. And Juan, I have the first silly question for you, if you are ready. Hold on. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. So as we know, you have three boys. Yes. Um, Four, if you want to count my husband. Oh. Right. <laughs> hopefully he's not watching. Um, although hopefully he is because we need the clicks. <laughs> the um, click. All right. So you have three boys. Um, is there a story that you can tell us? where you've had to discipline them, but as a parent inside, you were cracking up. Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's on the daily. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, one instance, when one of my twin boys, so I have 11-year-old boys, twin boys, and a 13-year-old is a bit older. So the 11-year-old, which was, 10 at the time, so grade five, was sleeping with mommy. So he's sleeping in bed with me, also angel-like. <laughs> and in the middle of the night, they speak in their sleep as kids normally do. And he woke me up, so I was listening. And in his sleep, he said a swear word, the one that starts with an S. <laughs> so he swore out Shoot. loud. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> the other one in his sleep, and I was like, oh. So it put me in a funny position because I was, they, do I mention this when he's awake? Is this something I punish him for <laughs> to use a bad word? So I was cracking up, but I did mention it because obviously if you're using it in your sleep, you must have used it at recess. So oh. was, <laughs> was he honest with up. you when you brought it up? <laughs> oh, he was so embarrassed. It was so funny. I'm like, Sally, you were talking to your sleep. Do you know what you said? He was like, <gasps> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, thank you, Juan. That was a really cute story. So you have two twin boys. That's adorable. Yeah. And then the 13 year old. And there aren't they all models as well? They they dabble in, uh, yeah, you know, they have to pay their way out. Huh? So they have to work. <laughs> Everybody's got to work around my house. <laughs> Time to get a job. <laughs> Gotta get a job, you know. So, so we're that's gonna all they can do right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. So we're going to switch gears a bit. Um, a little bit more serious. Um, so obviously, you know, um, we all sometimes can struggle with some mental or emotional concerns or issues. Um, so basically, how can students um, contact you or how can they, how does counseling work? How does counseling work in this environment in more of a virtual context? And um, are appointments in person or are they on Zoom? So if you can tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, um, here in uh, at, at Champlain, it's quite easy to access one of us. Um, and so the best way to do that would be to send a mail to Céline Bourgeois, who is our secretary, or you can just call. The extension is 33, uh, oh God, help me. 3355. 3355. Five, five. <laughs> no, I, I don't call, right? <laughs> 3355, right? So, um, yeah, so, and of course, we see students for all kinds of personal issues, big or small. Uh, what I hear is, oh, I don't know if my issue is large enough or my issue is too large. Uh, so we deal with interpersonal relationship issues, uh, family issues, uh, issues about um, romantic uh, relationships, 
anxiety, depression, uh, different types of thoughts that might be concerning to an individual, whether they, they be dark thoughts or, or anything else, or maybe even just to help a friend. So sometimes uh, students are a major support for either a partner or a friend, and they sometimes consult to find out what is the best way to do so. Um, and so I always tell students, you pay for our services and student service fees. Um, and so it's a great opportunity to take advantage of that type of help. We are neutral parties. Um, it's great to pick our brains or just have someone that you can talk to and it's confidential. So that's very important. The confidentiality, it's part of the law, um, part of an order of psychologists of Quebec that binds me with this confidentiality rule. And it's also my you know, ethical event. You know, it's very important to me. Uh, so that is important. So uh, the way we're doing it now, because of our special situation being uh, virtual and at distance, is we've, we've basically transferred to this type of format. So it's going very well. We have Zoom calls and we have another platform called Doxy, which is also confidential and preserves uh, the, those rights. Uh, and what we would do is you would make an appointment with Celine. Uh, we would send you a link and we would do uh, have a therapy session like this. Some students don't have access to this type of format or maybe they prefer to go for a walk and talk. So we can talk on the phone and we also have a chat service. Yeah. Amazing. Oh my God, that's amazing. Mm. So all these services are here to support students. Um, mm -hmm. So please use them if you need them. That's fantastic. Absolutely. Thank you, Bonita. Yeah. That's great. Because I tell them too, uh, half of us have private practice. Mm -hmm. And, and it's quite expensive. Right? Mm -hmm. So right now you get to use this service um, yeah, so it's at your, yeah. it's at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Thank you so much, Juan. You're welcome. So, you know, um, switch it up. I'm going to ask you a silly question. Uh -oh. And you don't have to be fully honest. If you People might not want to come see me after, <laughs> Sheila. This is not really sure good. Want to come see you. Our kids sure you want to come see you. She makes them work. I don't want to see the psychologist. It's going to be all good. Um, so, what was your best or favorite? favorite excuse that you have used to take a day off work? Of course, this is not, you know, regarding any champlain, no. wink, wink, any of that stuff, but for past and previous uh, jobs, um, what was your favorite or uh, best excuse? First of all, if you love what you do, you don't ever um. feel like you're working. <laughs> so I don't actually work, you know, I come and hang out over here. Yeah. <laughs> And the other thing Scott will know, because he went to high school with me, is I'm a horrible liar. <laughs> so I'm more on the, or am I? Maybe I'm not right now. Who knows? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the kind of person that when I take a day off, I embarrass myself with a thousand texts, like a deep, like, you know, what is it? Too much information? I'm mm -hmm. the TMI. Like, <laughs> what this happened? And then that happened? And like, Dean will say to me, just telling me that you're taking a sick day is fine. I'm like, I just need an explanation like as to why I'm not here. So, oh, why? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I just, I'm an over explainer. Okay. Yes. Basically, otherwise I'm usually here because, you know. So Juanita will be keeping her job, everybody. Don't worry about <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> you guys are All right, Sheila and Juan. Enough of this uh, tomfoolery. It's time to get serious again. Okay. Um, Juan, as you mentioned, you're the uh, leader of the FLIP group. Yep. We would like to know what is FLIP and uh, why should students join FLIP? FLIP is awesome. FLIP stands for, is the Leadership and Integration Program. Uh, they are a group of self-motivated students that take to heart uh, their goal of helping students feel a sense of community here on Champlain here at Champlain, sorry. Uh, they want every student to feel a sense of belonging. And they in fact take their experience when they first came to Champlain and try to do things better or try to reach out to as many students as possible. How we do this is very creative ways. Uh, we have all kinds of integration activities that now because of where we've moved to virtual, uh, it ha has been uh, completely changed and shifted, but they are being very creative in how they do this. So maybe some first year students have been part of orientation already or have come back to our welcome back events. Um, but the uh, leadership team along with the CSA have been working together to make sure that students have engagement opportunities. 
So that's uh, FLIP's mission. And they're also the ambassadors of the college in the sense that, you know, if, uh, if any students have been to an open house or a parents' night, they would have seen FLIP. They're the ones who are there to answer questions and, and be the, um, the liaison for students uh, with, with uh, the, the faculty and staff here. Mm -hmm. Special team, special team. Wonderful, thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh, if you wanna join, right? That was the other part? Yes. So if you wanna join, um, you would just mail me. Uh, Juanita, like I said, with the W, send me a meal to be with FLIP specifically, but we have a lot of other leadership groups you should not uh, um, overlook. So if you go on the, on your MEO, right, the Omnivox system, if yeah. you go under communities uh, and you could see all of the leadership groups represented there with the contact person, but for mm -hmm. FLIP specifically, it would be me. Yeah. Amazing. Perfect. All right. Well, I don't we would love to spend, you know, two hours with you, but unfortunately our time is winding down. But if you are a regular viewer of uh, Serious and Silly with Scott and Sheila. Which all of you are, of course. I am. Yeah. I'm so excited to be on this. I'm so honored. We have almost 300 uh, clicks on our first episode. We're really popular. Really? 299 from Sheila's Bobo. And uh, <laughs> now I want to but voice uh, grandmother in Portuguese. <laughs> How about your chickens? No. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't have access. Uh, okay. yeah. Can we get your chickens on the show? <laughs> we can. We the should. Mother would be very happy. <laughs> All right. So, if you're a regular viewer, you know we always end with the secret question. <gasps> one, one, one. The secret question is brought to you by Coca-Cola. <laughs> it's full of sugar and makes your teeth rot. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I've been told. I've been told by Sheila. In fact, Coca Cola is not our sponsor. Don't sue me, Coca Cola. You're a delicious beverage. Well, on the secret question today is: You have been placed on a desert island for a week, and you're Again? allowed to bring okay. three things. What three things are those? That I would bring. Yes. Oh, my three kids. Oh, <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we will counter three kids as one thing. You're allowed to bring two more. Things. I knew you would let me get away with that, Scotty. So now you can <laughs> Paul in there if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I could sneak Paul in there, of course. You know what I mean? And, uh, and, better and this now. Uh huh? You better watch this now. That you're <laughs> so you're now probably going to die because you've used two of your three things on uh, people. Humans, yeah. <laughs> you have one thing. One more thing on this private island? Yeah. Um, Keep it PG, Juan. PG. Yeah, you know what I think? <laughs> my, my, uh, my, sorry? This is a family show. For me, it's all about people. I, I, I bring three things. I bring my kids, my husband, and all of my friends. Oh, so, and we'd all make we'll make it work. Food. Don't worry about it. All gonna die. We're on an island. There's all kinds of stuff. That's it. For me, it's on the beach, man. There's nothing material that can top that. I love it. Mm -hmm. Very nice, Juan. Very sweet. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So just to wrap up, Juan, as you mentioned, if people are interested in getting an appointment with the psychologist, they can meet us at Lynn Bourgeois or reach yes. our extensions 3355. If people are interested in joining the FLIP group, they can uh, meet you directly, Juanita Jones. And Sheila, words of wisdom to end of You listen, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> words of wisdom is to stay tuned um, to our Serious and Silly with Scott and Sheila, Sheila web series. Um, and make sure to follow us on our Champlain St. Lambert YouTube page. Uh, we post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So thank you so much, Juan. So we fun. Awesome. I hope you have me again. For sure. See you uh, later. See you on my see island. everybody. <laughs> on the island. <laughs>